Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Hey everyone! I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. Uh, we hope everyone's having a great day. We appreciate you joining us this morning for our Sunday chat. Uh, we're recording this on Sunday around 12 o'clock. Excuse me. We're recording this on Saturday morning around 12 o'clock. And uh, it's rainy outside. We've had quite a bit of rain this last week. And looks like we're going to get a lot of rain and thunderstorms again this afternoon. Um, I noticed something on our camera. It's flashing green a little bit um, where your shirt is. Yeah, that's the audio. Oh, it's okay. showing that our sound is working. All right. Okay, so uh, Marie is going to be doing the devotional first. And this week, uh, this is Sunday, May the 19th, 2024. And the devotion is on Matthew 26, 41. We'll let her go ahead and do that before we get started this morning. Okay, it says, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And like Calvin said, that was Matthew 26, 41. And then Isaiah 40, 31. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. And then uh, it, the devotion is called Good Intentions. You mean well. You mean to be diligent in reading your Bible and praying and serving. You try your best, but little things wiggle their way into your day. The temptation is to be... The temptation is to put off doing the right things because the important things are calling. Your spirit wants to serve God, but your body and your actions get distracted with stuff. That's so true when we try to serve the Lord or we're, we're trying to read our Bible or whatever we're, we're trying to do for God. It seems like there's always somebody calling on the telephone if you're reading your Bible or somebody's watching television when you know you're trying to to read something that um you're, that's trying you're trying to get in your mind a verse or whatever that you're reading and then the television's on and there's just distractions everywhere and it's so hard to just get along with the lord and um be quiet and listen to him because of distractions. It says, there's one way though through this. Ask God to help you and ask for his strength and focus to keep you on track. You can try to do it by your, you can, it says, and ask for his strength and focus to keep you on track. You can try to do it by yourself, but you won't be successful. You need divine assistance. <laughs> And that's true. Whatever we do for God, we need His assistance in everything. You know, when we try to do things on our own, we don't do so good, do we? <laughs> and uh, like I said, distractions can get in the way, but we just have to press through and keep on reading our Bible and keep on doing what we need to do for the Lord and uh, push through those distractions. <laughs> Or it be the telephone or what if we have to get up and go in another room or we're reading our Bible, but that's what we have to do sometimes to um, serve the Lord. Okay, Calvin, you got anything you want to say? Uh, you're right on that. <laughs> I hope I had not been distracting you too much. I'm it's always, <laughs> when Marie's reading her Bible, I'm always got something going on and I said, oh Marie, I need to ask you a question. <laughs> so I apologize. It's not, um, you don't have to apologize to me. to me. No, <laughs> but, no, that's but, just the... But that happens too, don't it? <laughs> uh, yes. Um, uh, when, uh, anytime we try to do anything for the Lord, it seems like the old enemy tries to get in the way. Through whoever he uses, you know, it's not 
not you, you know, <laughs> in particular, okay. but just, in, you know, just distractions happen. I, I agree with you. <laughs> I have the same thing happen to me. Okay, so uh, you ready to talk about some things we did last week? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we had a very busy week last week, and uh, I'll try not to get into it too deep because we don't want our video to be too extremely long. But last week was Marie's birthday on Monday, mm -hmm. and so we celebrated that. Uh, now me and Kevin's the same age for a few months. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're both 71 right now. Right. And uh, we went out and ate at our favorite Mexican restaurant and really enjoyed the time together. Yeah. Uh, just me and you together, and uh, it was fun. Yes, that was fantastic food, and the uh, waitress and everything she was fantastic and mm -hmm. it's, that's why it's our favorite restaurant <laughs> <laughs> and then on Tuesday Marie had the uh, dental visit for a cleaning mm -hmm. and you have to do that every six months don't you Marie? yes and um, the dental hygienist she was really good too she did I didn't even feel any pain at all and so I like that when that happens don't y'all <laughs> <laughs> and then on uh, Wednesday we just had fun with our family that's where we met up there with uh, Kimberly and Addison and Avery. We met at Moe's Barbecue, and uh, we also went out and walked across the footbridge that's right there beside it. I didn't. <laughs> I wanted to, but I didn't quite get to because, uh, like, I have that old arthritic hip, and sometimes it says I can do things, and sometimes it says no, so it <laughs> said no that day. <laughs> And that was a lot of fun, too. And Addison, mm -hmm. she just loved looking at all the locks. They're called love locks mm -hmm. that are hanging on the bridge. And she was just having the most fun looking at those. And when y'all went across it and I got to see the video, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it, too. But I also enjoyed where I was sitting at because mm -hmm. there was things going on around me, too. Children mm -hmm. were out playing and all. And so even though I didn't get to go over the bridge, I did enjoy it. Uh, I just enjoy myself there while and, I sit on the steps. And we're going to go back one day when, but when we hadn't done anything beforehand, mm -hmm. so your hip won't be bothering you, and we're going to walk across it together. And Good. so we will be doing that again. i got to go Tuesday for a follow-up visit right mm -hmm. on my um, hip on situation. Injection, yeah. And I'm going to ask him when I go there is why it, sometimes I'm able to walk better than I am at other times. Yeah. Uh, I don't <laughs> understand that either. But I, I guess it depends on how much inflammation you have at the time mm -hmm. and stuff, too. Okay. And then on Thursday, uh, Kimberly, that's our granddaughter, she has a YouTube channel also. And what she did on Thursday, her and Addison made some cookies. They were M&M cookies with mm -hmm. uh, chocolate Oreo crackers mixed in with it. Mm -hmm. And they were delicious. But they made them. They came to our house and brought us some to taste. Mm -hmm. And they surprised us. They didn't call and say they were coming. We had no idea they were coming. Mm -mm. And they just they showed up. Addison rang our doorbell. And I went to the door and I was surprised when I seen Addison standing there with a little plate full of cookies. Yeah. And so she come in and we enjoyed them. And they mm -hmm. stayed for maybe an hour or so. And we enjoyed going out and playing. Addison had the bubble machine, and she was playing with the bubble machine, mm -hmm. and also she was playing with the water sprayer, yeah. and she wanted to spray me and Nana, didn't she? Yeah, Kim remembered when she was little, and she used to run through the water sprayer when she was she yeah. would come over. <laughs> but they all of my grandkids did that, and all of them loved it. <laughs> they did, yeah, and and we just really enjoyed spending time with them, and so Kim posted her video of her visit to our house. And, and some other things that they did that day on Thursday. Mm -hmm. And it was a really good video. And mm -hmm. it's so much fun watching Addison mm -hmm. playing with the uh, bubbles yeah. and the water sprayer. But if you haven't watched Kim's channel before, I'm going to leave you a link uh, down in the description. But her channel is called The Moats Family. And I will leave you a link. Go over there and watch her channel. And be sure and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to her channel. Yeah. Uh, because she sure will appreciate it. That's the best way you can support a channel that you like is to be sure and hit the subscribe channel. Yeah, and Kim and, does a lot too. She she goes t 
to a lot of the different counties around. Uh, Me and Pop's a little bit too old yet for that. <laughs> well, Kim's very But active. we do. We do pretty good for the other stuff. We do pretty good for our age. Yeah. Uh, and, and since I mentioned subscribe to Kim's channel, we have a lot of people that watch our channel on a regular basis that have never subscribed. So just right below the video there, there's a little button. Click on it that says subscribe. It don't cost you anything, and it helps our channel more than you can imagine. That's the main thing, subscribe. Then if you'll click on the thumbs up, that helps our channel, and that helps more people see it. Mm -hmm. And then if you leave a comment, that helps even more. Yeah. So we appreciate all those things. And uh, we, like I said, we do have a lot of people that watches our channel. And I did notice that when we're doing your birthday video, Marie, mm -hmm. uh, quite a few people was telling me, uh, that their birthdays was nearby and when it was and everything mm -hmm. and their age. So I have an idea. Uh, if you will, when you watch this video, leave us a comment and tell us how old you are if you watch this channel. And the person that is the oldest person that comments on this video this week, next Sunday when we do our Sunday chat, we'll give them a shout out as being the oldest person mm -hmm. and to me that's something to be proud of okay yeah. is your age mm -hmm. and i see people well I, our neighbor across the street he passed away last year but uh i believe he was 92 or 93 yeah. but it just amazed me that he was in his 90s and yeah. and still got around as good as he did that's and true. so to me it's just something to brag about yeah. and so uh, leave us a comment let us know how old you are and also, if you watch our channel on a regular basis yeah. and you're young, leave us a comment and let us know how young you are. Um, because the youngest person, I'll give you a shout out to. Okay? <laughs> and so the youngest and the oldest, next week I'll give a shout out. Y'all just leave us yeah. a comment. And then, like I said, don't forget, go over there and watch Kim's channel. And when you watch it, leave her a comment and tell her, say, hey, Kim, we subscribe to your channel. We want to help you out. And uh, say Pops and Nana sent us over here, yeah. or you can say Calvin and Marie. Also, her husband Jonathan Motes, he mm -hmm. has a channel too. And uh, Calvin, you can tell him about that also. Yeah, he has a wood carving channel and he loves to go to the uh, wood carving shows. I mm -hmm. think he's going this weekend to another one up in South Carolina. Yeah. And so uh, I'll leave you a link to his channel also. And you're welcome to check out both of their channels, they will definitely appreciate it. Yeah. And if you love seeing Addison and Avery on our channel, you're going to really love their channel because you're going to see them all the time. Yeah. And you occasionally going to see them pop in on us and see us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll jump on to the next thing. Uh, last week, I did uh, work out in the yard and I got all the grass cut before the rain came in so heavy. Our roses are looking great outside. And we do have... Uh, I still haven't planted any flowers around our tree out front, but I'm going to do that. I'm just waiting on this weather to get a little bit better. Yeah. But pretty soon we'll get to that, won't we, Ray? Yeah, you got the yard looking nice, though, for you cut it. Yeah, I've yeah. got to. Um, I did my weed eating, but I still need to do what's called edge the driveway. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, when I edge the driveway, it puts a lot of stress on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So i sort of been putting it off. But I'm going to get there one day and do it. Yeah. Um, and then later this afternoon, we're going to be doing a video. We're going to cook mm -hmm. a recipe that uh, I think Marie found the recipe and she recommended it to me. And I'm not sure if I'm going to cook it or if you're going to cook it. We may cook it together. Yeah. But uh, it, it's going to be interesting. I think you'll enjoy it. And we'll try to have it ready to watch on Monday night. Okay. Okay, Marie. Let's talk about our videos that we did last week. Okay. And we did have five videos last week. Our mm -hmm. first video was our Sunday chat last Sunday, and that was for Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And to us, Mother's Day is always a special Sunday, mm -hmm. and we really enjoy it. And uh, we, we enjoyed our party that we had where Cynthia gave you a Mother's Day and birthday yeah. combined dinner. Yeah, it's we always enjoy it, but we always like everyone else <laughs> we that miss, had, we miss our mothers. <laughs> yes, we sure do. Okay, our next video that we did last week, 
I think that video came out on Monday night, and that was where I made the Paula Dean Simply Delicious Strawberry Cake. And I'm, it was simply delicious. <laughs> I made that for Marie's birthday. Yeah, I, well, that was so sweet. I asked him to do it, my, but I didn't know that he would actually do it. I just think that homemade cakes are better than <laughs> store-bought cakes, but if you, in a pinch, and don't feel like making a, a homemade cake, then <laughs> go to the store and get you one. <laughs> if, you're, if you're thinking about making that cake, uh, I'm going to throw out a little tip that I discover, discovered. The, now, the recipe is quite a few years old. Yeah. And when the recipe was first made, it was made using a white box cake mix that had 15 and a quarter ounces in it. Okay, all your cake mix that you buy now, some of them has 13 ounces and some of them has 14 ounces. So if you make it with a 13 ounce box or a 14 ounce box, your cake is going to be a little more moist than if you had made it with a 15 ounce box. And so I had read somewhere that on any cake you're making, if you got an older recipe that calls for 15 ounces, mm -hmm. you can add one quarter cup of an all-purpose flour to it and it will make it be more like a 15 ounce box of cake mix, okay? okay? And so our cake, the one that I made, turned out absolutely delicious, mm -hmm. but it was a little bit more moist than what I remember it always being. Yeah. I looked at the box, and sure enough, the box was just a 14 ounce box. Mm -hmm. And so I'm sure that had a lot to do with it being a little more moist than we expected. And you might but, could cut down a little bit of the juice also, but yeah. I would think maybe 10 ounces might work also yeah. instead of 15. On either strawberry way, puree. Yeah. either way, I think it would work, don't you? Yeah, but but it turned out it turned out just fine like it was. But like I said, it was moist, uh, very moist. Yeah. Okay. Next video that we did was Marie's birthday, uh, 2024, and that's where we got together with our family and had the dinner. And we also went shopping, and yeah. uh, you enjoyed that day, didn't you, Marie? I did because we was, uh, we was a little bit tired, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we do more than one thing in one day, it completely wears us out. Yeah. Okay. Then the next video we did was a family fun day, and that's where we met Kim and Addison and Avery, and we went to Moe's Barbecue, and then we went and walked across the Robert Redden footbridge. And we really enjoyed that time together. Mm -hmm. That was a did, fun did. video, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you hadn't saw that video, you need to watch that video. Uh, something that I'm going to be making today, I may make some references back to the uh, Robert Redden footbridge and the railroad trestles uh, when I make that video today. It depends on how I go. If I'm feeling good, I'll talk more. If I don't feel good, I may not talk much. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people on here say that I look like I'm really sad and everything. But it's not that. It's I deal with chronic pain. And it just depends on how much pain <laughs> I'm experienced, whether I'm more bubbly or not. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, if y'all see me on here and I look like that I'm not feeling all that great, well, I'm feeling good enough to make the video or I wouldn't come in here. But I... Probably I'm not feeling all as good as I probably would want to be feeling. <laughs> well, so. at, at our age, we're always going to have good days and bad yes. days. And we love it when we're having a good day. Mm -hmm. And if we're having a bad day, we just have to struggle and do the best we I can. Right, Marie? This right here is our prayer book. And I know a lot of you in here are having a lot of bad days. Because mm -hmm. we've got people in here with heart trouble. Mm -hmm. People in here with muscle muscle cirrhosis, people in here with mm -hmm. diabetes, and uh, people in here that are dealing with cancer, mm -hmm. heart problems, and all kinds of problems. Um, people that have passed away, and uh, so uh, we we uh, know what you're going through, and we pray for you daily. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. and we appreciate all the prayers that y'all have prayed for us. Okay. And then the next video that we did was the beef and peppers rice bowl. And Marie, you made that video by yourself. Mm -hmm. I didn't help a bit. Mm -hmm. 
You got to do it all by yourself. Well, I make a lot but, of them all by myself. Oh, you do, yeah. <laughs> but uh, since your help's been bothering yeah. me, I've been helping you some. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, I see what you mean there. <laughs> okay, I wasn't saying it negative. But uh, it was delicious. I loved it. Yes, it and was good. I actually ate. I ate some for lunch that day, and then turned around and ate some for supper that night. I yeah. loved it that and much. It's, it's a good economical meal, too, and yeah. you can get about four meals out of that. So if there's mm -hmm. a couple, um, just two in a family, um, mm -hmm. you can uh, make it go two days or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there's four people, then y'all all can get you a good boat. <laughs> that's right. And that's what we like making. We like making meals that yeah. we can enjoy it right then when we cook it. Mm -hmm. But then we won't put it in the refrigerator and either that night or the next day, mm -hmm. we won't be able to have another meal right. and enjoy it without having to do any cooking. Just heat it up and enjoy it. Right that's now. why we also like crock pot meals, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's why we love soups and things mm -hmm. like that. Because we can get, usually on big soup, We'll get three days off of that. Yeah, and we put some of it up in our freezer too mm -hmm. uh, when we cook a big meal that we can't eat all. We can't eat it all. But uh, we really enjoy easy, economical meals right now at this stage. If you are one of those uh, mm -hmm. YouTubers that are younger and y'all like to do all the scratch cooking and everything, I was there one day with y'all. I used to do all that too. <laughs> But since I'm a little bit older, I do take a few shortcuts. And yeah. uh, I know a lot of older people do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, and you, well, you learn that that's the best way yes, to do it. right. Anyways. Okay, Marie, I think that pretty much covers everything that we've done this last week. Uh -huh. uh, we have got, I know for a fact, that we've got four recipes that we want to make. Uh -huh. And so we know which one we're going to do today. We've got three more. We're going to mix them up. We're not sure which day we'll do which recipe, mm -hmm. but we've got several cooking videos coming in the next week. But I we think also there was a little fly buzzing around me. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all seen that fly, I did too, and I'm going to get rid of it as soon as we get off of here. I don't like them things in the house. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Calvin. <laughs> he may cut that part out. <laughs> Okay, but uh, we also want to do some videos where we go uh, shopping again and thrifting. Yeah. And we enjoy those videos too. So we got several good videos coming up this next week. Mm -hmm. And I uh, hope you enjoy each and every one of them. Once again, be sure if you're watching our channel and you've never subscribed, hit the subscribe button because we really do appreciate that. Yeah. And if you will, go over to our granddaughter Kim's channel. And I'll leave you a link down here below for it. Click on that link, go over there and watch that video, and subscribe to her channel too. And yeah. I know she'll appreciate it yeah. very much. And Kim's not like her grandmother. She talks a lot. <laughs> like her, her grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. Okay, we really had fun doing this Sunday chat today. And... Uh, I like it on days like this, don't you, Marie? Yeah. And so we love each and every one of you. We appreciate you watching our videos, and we hope that you enjoyed them, and we appreciate your comments. Mm -hmm. Y'all have a great day, and we will see you on our next video. And y'all do what you love and love what you do. And like Kevin says, we'll see you on the next video, and y'all have a wonderful weekend. Bye. We were young and we were free and running Never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk and loving